Good evening, friends. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun, fun new project. Let me know if the sound is okay. I'm kind of getting a little echo on my end, so I am not sure. Okay, maybe that will do it. Not quite sure what's going on. But hopefully everything is okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably just stop messing around with my screen. Oh, and then I just lost everybody. <laughs> okay, we are just going to go with it and hope that it is good. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. Hello, Heather. Is the volume okay? For some reason, I am getting a little bit of an echo. So hopefully it is. We're just going to go with it. So hopefully you guys had a great day. Um, I sure did. I spent the entire day getting the craft room, actually not the craft room, my husband's RV garage ready for our crafting retreat. So everything is out there. All of the tables are set up. The craft room is completely cleaned. Well, I do need to sweep the floor. But other than that, the craft room is completely empty. Everything's out. I'm exhausted, but I'm still going to do tonight's live because it is absolutely gorgeous. It is so fun, so cute, and I don't know who I'm going to send them to because I really, really want to make like 150 of them and send one to everyone, but I just don't think I have time to do that. We'll see. Maybe I can get a few of them made, a few more of them made. So other than that, um, I had a great day. So we are two days away from the retreat for this weekend and next weekend. I still have some spots for next weekend. So if anybody's um, plans have changed, let me know and I can get you a table. But other than that, it is retreat mode on my end. Tomorrow I won't be home all day. I'm leaving at like 6.30 in the morning and not coming home till like 8 o'clock at night. So that's why I had to pretty much get 99% of everything done today because I knew I wasn't going to be home at all tomorrow. Okay, let's see who's logged on. Hello, Heather, Jill, Carol, Anna, Marie. Hello, everybody. If I missed you, please say hi so I know you're here. Let's scoot you over. And, oh, you can see the tail end of that card. Let me get that out of the way so I don't spoil it for everybody. I'm just going to triple check and make sure we're live on Facebook. And we are. So let me bring in... The catalog that was literally just sitting here because I used it to find the exact name of the set and now it's not here. So let me just grab another one because it's pretty handy. It'll come up. I'll find it. So the stamp set we are going to be using, I already had it on the page and everything and I don't know where it went. It's on page 59 of your mini catalog and it's called Cottage Reef. So this is a super cool set because there is four holidays in one set. So you get Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. So I guess there's your three and then you get just like a little, not that hello is generic, but you get a little hello in there as well. So I guess there's three holidays. Um, it does come as a page bundle, which is on page 58 of the catalog. And the page bundle includes everything you see here. So you get the stamp set, the dies, the twine. Um, this is the um, effects, email effects. And then you get the full pack of designer series paper. It's 48 sheets. And I've definitely used this a ton. So that's the stamp set we're going to be using. And then I am going to pair it with the deckled rectangle dies. So these two are going to be so fun together. These deckled rectangle dies are amazing. I know they're a hot mess right now. I need to get them on my sheets. But there we go. So you can kind of see the layering. So you have your card base layer is here and then all your other layers go down into like a little tiny piece. So they are super fun. Let's see. Hello, Jessica, Stephanie. Darlene, good evening. Thanks for joining. So let me bring in the stamp set and die. So this is the cottage wreath. We are going to be using the boo and the little spider. Can you guys guess we're going to be making a Halloween card? 
And these are the dies. Look how amazingly beautiful these dies are. So this cuts out, let me grab one. This cuts out the bow perfectly. And if you want to stamp the bow, you can um, cut it out with this guy. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's the same with the wreaths. You can, I don't want to bring in the card. So you can cut it, cut out the wreath. And these little guys poke out. I just haven't poked them out yet. Um, you can cut them out with these two wreaths or you can stamp them and cut them out with these two. So this is a super cute set. So let's put all this away and then I will bring in the card we're going to be making. So we're going to do two different versions of this card. So this is the Gorgeous Grape and the Granny Apple Green. And I just took our rhinestones and I used our black um, blender pin and I colored the rhinestones black just to have a little kind of a fun whimsical thing on our wreath. And then I did a matching envelope. So this is what we're going to be playing with today. So this first one we're going to make is the same color, kind of the same idea as this. But the next one is going to be the same thing, but different. Just stick with me, I promise. Okay, so what you're going to need is a piece of Granny Apple Green. And this measures five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored it right in half at four and a quarter. So we're going to fold that and grab the dirty bone folder. Oh, there's the clean one. My office desk hasn't been cleaned yet. So I guess I should refrain from saying that everything's clean. Okay, so here is the largest in the deckled rectangle dies. And this is the next size smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those together. Yes, Jill, it is a huge set. I don't know why I haven't played with it sooner because it is definitely fun. And I would suggest if you're going to be making some of these, get a specific number and then prep one thing at a time. So let's just say you're going to make 20 of these cards. You're going to cut all your card stuff. And then you're going to cut all of your gorgeous grape. Then your designer series paper. It'll make this card go a lot faster. Okay, so before we glue this piece down, I want to bring in the little spiders and the gorgeous grape. And I am going to ink up my spider and I want to come over and I want to stamp him as close to the right hand side as humanly possible. And I'm going to do that again right up top. I didn't measure this. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So I'm going to do the same thing to the left. There we go. Sorry, I was quiet. I was had to concentrate. So there is that, and I'm going to leave my ink open, but I'm going to set it to the side so I don't stick my hand in it. So this piece is going to go right on the inside. The only thing I popped up was the um, wreath. I didn't pop anything else up because there's quite a few layers to this guy. So there's that piece. And then we have... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, these are the three. <clears throat> excuse me. These are the three smaller pieces. So this is our basic white, and then that's going to get layered on top of the granny apple green. We can go ahead and glue that down, and then we can pick this up and glue this down. The card really is not hard to put together. It's just a lot of die cutting. A lot of die cutting <laughs> but it is fun and definitely well worth it like I said I wish I had time to make over a hundred of these because I totally would so this is um, the wreath that I already cut out most of these little inner pieces popped out but there was a few that were left you can go in and pick up all of these pieces to kind of give it a 3d look more so if you're hand delivering it um, once it gets into the mail, it's probably going to get kind of smashed anyways. Uh, but you can definitely do that if you want to. You can go in and do both sides, the outside and the inside. But I'm going to flip it over and grab some mini dimensionals. And I'm just going to sprinkle a couple around. Nowhere specific, just kind of put four or five. I think four is good. 
peel the backing off. And then I am just gonna put this right in the center. So this is the tricky part. So you could have stamped your boo prior to putting your wreath on, but I was afraid I wasn't going to get it quite centered. So my trick to this is you're gonna gently tap your stamps or your, yeah, your stamp on your ink. You don't wanna white knuckle it or go super duper hard because that's gonna give you a halo. So now I'm just gonna come in and I'm gently going to push down. And there you go. So the harder you push, the more ink you're gonna get on your block and your stamp, and that's gonna give you that halo look. Not that it's bad, I'm just saying if you don't want it, that's how you do it. And then I should have some mini glue dots around here. I think I do, there they are. I am going to put a mini glue dot on the back of the bow. And before I put him down, I want to take one of these mini dimensionals and I'm gonna cut it in half again. Just because we did pop up the wreath and I don't want the bottom of the bow to kind of just be hanging and flying. So I just wanna put a tiny little something on there just to secure it down. If you didn't think the little mini ones were hard to get off, try doing it just the half. And then I'm gonna put that right there. So the um, dimensionals are under here and the mini glue dots on the back. So now it's all flesh and even. So I went ahead and took my blender pen and I colored um, the rhinestones. And these are just our basic rhinestones. I went ahead and colored them with black. And I'm just gonna come in and randomly put them to look like, I don't know, what are they called, Quinset, poinsettias? What are the inner pieces of the flower called? I don't know. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this four times, probably a little overkill, but you know what? If you wanna do it five times, it's your card. You can put as many of these little guys on as you want. Trust me, I probably would have done more because I think they are so cute. And if you don't want to color them, we do have our black, uh, we do have black stones, but I just thought they were a little thick and it might be extra postage. Okay, come on, get on there. One left. There you go. Look how cute that is. Oh, I am just in love. And now we can glue this to our card base. I definitely will be sending these out. I think I prepped four or five of them, so maybe my kids will get these. I don't know. You have to be pretty worthy to get this card. <laughs> okay, and I already did the matching envelope. So there you go. So our next one is the same concept, but I wanna show you a little something something with it. So I didn't have any of our gorgeous great designer series paper. Not 100% sure why I don't, but I thought let's do the next best thing. And this is the Halloween designer series paper. We're gonna color it. We are not gonna use blender pens. We're gonna use the blender brush. So let me bring in my pretty dirty pad, but that's okay. That's why I have it, because I don't want to ink up my work surface. And I have some gorgeous grape already on this because I already did another one. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just going to rub. Just gently rub back and forth to transfer the ink on to the brush. And a lot of people like to start off so you don't get kind of a blob of ink but I really like that blob of ink. I don't know why. So I always start on my paper, but if you don't like the blob, start off and then roll on. But it doesn't bother me because it kind of looks like it's supposed to be and it's not perfect. And that's what I like. So I'm just gonna color this. And the 
You can always add more. You cannot take away. So go gently until you find the color that you want and then just keep going if you want it darker. Like I definitely want this guy super duper dark purple. Like I could probably just lay this on top of it and it would work. <laughs> But you can see the difference. Hopefully you can. This is darker on this end and this is a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to grab some more and just keep coloring until you get it the shade you want. And definitely have a piece of paper underneath you. Otherwise your work surface is going to be the color you're coloring. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'll leave that open because we're going to use it one more time. So now we can just put this card together like we did the other one. Same dimensions. Going to give that a good crease. And you could really even do this on your on the card. I know the first one I did it separate, but we're not wrapping any ribbon or anything around it. So you could really just build it on the card. So there's that piece. There is our designer series paper that we colored. I love gorgeous grape and granny apple green together. It's gorgeous. Let's bring in our little tiny piece. I've already cleaned my spider. So this one we're going to do granny apple green spider. Ink them up. Give them, stamp them as close to the edge as you can. And you could really even put some spiders on the inside. When you put your basic white on the inside, you could put some extra spiders on there as well. And I think, oh, we're not gonna use a gorgeous grape. I'm gonna close it. We're using green apple green on this one. So add some adhesive. Okay, honestly, I don't know which one's my favorites. And I did all the opposite colors. That was probably the hardest part. And plus I was tired when I was creating this. I just wanted a shower and a nap. But I was like, no, I'm going to finish this before I go in and shower. I didn't take a nap, but I did shower. Okay, we're going to add this. Just kind of lining that up. And then let's pop these guys out. It pretty much took the majority of them out, so this really wasn't that hard to do. Flip that over. Grab some mini dimensionals. I think the mini dimensionals fit this perfect. There we go. right in the center and then I'm going to grab the boo make sure it's clean make sure it's going the right direction otherwise we're going to have an upside down boo there we go close this mini glue dots set that down and there was actually two that I had cut earlier so we're just going to use those. Oh, where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. Ooh, that was hard to see even with glasses on. Yes, Jessica, there are so many possibilities. You could definitely do this for um, the same exact design, but using the Rustic Harvest set for um, Thanksgiving, you could totally do that. You could do the same thing with um, the Christmas candy cane paper or the Red Glimmer paper. Oh, gorgeous. You could really use this set for everything. You could even put a happy birthday in there. You could take another set and put happy birthday and have happy birthday as well. Okay, now we can't forget, we have a matching envelope. And I did the same exact thing. I took the extra strip of paper after I cut the cardstock and I colored it. And this one you can, hopefully you can see in the, wind, in the 
video that I went a little bit lighter on the envelope and I went darker on the card. Not that anybody would probably know this, but that is what I did. I hope you guys liked this card as much as I did. I actually, Bo always yells at me. He was like, yes, honey, dinner was good because I make such a big deal about when dinner is so good. He was like, you made dinner. Yes, it was good. <laughs> but I love these cards. I think I always make a big deal about the cards. And I don't mean to, but I just get excited, I guess. So there you go. There's all of your cards. So Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape. And then I alternated the colors to do a little bit different of a design. Oh, snap. Hold on. We can't forget the gems. Nobody was going to tell me. And I don't know where my take your pick tool went. We can't forget these guys. Oh, this just totally makes it. This one, these ones I colored with the gorgeous gray. I'm sorry, not gorgeous gray. Granny apple green. Oops. I don't know where my little tool went. Okay, this granny apple green gems definitely make this card pop. And this is a little tedious. I won't lie. Almost done. <laughs> if they will cooperate with me. Oh no. He doesn't want to stay where I'm putting them. Okay, three more. And then I promise I'll show you the, re the end result. Yes, Jill, you totally can. That is why I do these lives, is to inspire you guys. So there you go. Okay, that definitely did it. I hope it really shows how fun and beautiful these cards are. So there you go. You could even put an other, another gem on the inside of your bows as well. So there you go. Hopefully you guys liked your card class for tonight. I will not be back on live for on Thursday, but I will be back next Tuesday. The retreat starts Thursday, and it's just kind of chaotic, and we're probably, or we're usually ordering dinner or going to pick up dinner um, right at 7 o'clock, so I don't want to, like, rush our Facebook Live to rush out to get dinner. So I will see everybody on Thursday afternoon. After 12 o'clock, you guys can start arriving. Everything will hopefully cross our fingers, be done and ready. Um, if not, I will see everybody again on Tuesday. Have a great evening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.